I just saw this uh, bowl of goldfish on the table, which is still here from my anniversary. Um, this is dangerous. I've dipped my grubby little hand into this like 20 times today, and all I've been eating is goldfish. Not healthy, but I want to talk to you about my anniversary for a quick second because it was so magical and so memorable. Ugh. I guess I'll do it in voiceover because I'm too lazy to talk about it now. So cue the voiceover with some amazing footage. Okay, go. So what I'm thinking is for our anniversary, we're gonna go out of the way to do anything. We should maybe just stay at home base. Stay at home for the anniversary? That's what you are saying. Okay. <laughs> the second that I get the vlog camera to show you this, Lua ran through it. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Honey, come on. This is crazy. This is cool. What the hell? What the hell? I'm shook it. Yeah. Can you explain your thought process? Well, because Hold there's this. a video of you. I don't know if you know it. There's a video of you saying, because I filmed you just in case, because you. I was like, we're not doing anything big. We're just staying home. But you said you wanted something romantical. I did. You said I want something romantical. As long as we do it big and right and like romantical. So we went to dinner, and then I have this set up. So if you come over here. Shut up. So then there's a bunch of stuff. And it's a bowl of gold. A bunch of goldfish, because that's your favorite. Then there's some popcorn and some other snacks, some Perrier, just like you love. A, a bottle. bottle of Malbec, sorry. Two glasses of wine. What the hell? Are we And then if you come here, look at this stuff. There's all these pictures from- Oh, this is what our house would look like if we actually got curtains. Yeah. Oh, look at our pictures! And this is the morning after. It was- the best anniversary I ever had, and I will never forget it. I'm very grateful to my king for putting together such a wonderful surprise. What a king. Good morning, besties. I'm excited to hang with you today. Ugh, I just woke up and I feel energized today. I don't know what it is, but that sleep last night must have just hit me in the right place. So I'm ready to go. Starting today off with some chlorophyll water. Apparently, I mean, this is from TikTok, but apparently it makes your armpits smell a lot worse and it has a bunch of other benefits. I think it's an antioxidant. I will say that I think I have noticed my armpits smell a lot less worse. And that says a lot because where I live, it's over 100 degrees right now. So yeah, I, I'm kind of a stand. The packaging says that she cleanses and detoxifies and boosts your energy, so that's hot. I think you're supposed to do like eight, whoa, you're supposed to do 15 drops in the water. The thing about that is if you do 15 drops into the water, it will taste like dirt. And I'm not into that, so I usually do like five to seven drops. And I use a lot of lemon to cut the plant-like flavor. It literally tastes like you ripped a plant out of the ground and just like ate it with the dirt. But, nicer armpit smell. Bottoms up. I've been having to like retrain Lua. She used to be so trained on that little thing. You say place and she goes to her spot. I feel like we've been more relaxed on her and now she's kind of like losing all her training. Specifically when people walk in the door, she'll just like jump all over them and like it's not cute. Like it's cute for me because it's my dog but I hate when I go to someone's house and the dog's like jumping all over me. I'm always like, ew. You know what I mean? When I moved into this house, we bought a fancy glassware set, like of like nice glasses from, I don't even know where, maybe like a pottery barn or something of that nature. And they were cute and they were so thin and they all broke in the dishwasher like month one. So now all I have is like these big mason jars and it's where I consume any of my liquids and I just feel like it's too hippy dippy for me. It's too like chill girl vibes, you know, I feel like it doesn't fit me. I feel like I need to get some glassware, but it's cute, but it's so heavy you know what I mean you don't care anyways I'm gonna drink this bullshit sit 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 you're embarrassing me you're making me look like I have no control over my child is this what family channels do they just like try to discipline their child and edit out all the parts that they don't listen and then just like keep the one part where they listen, because I think that's what I'm gonna do with you. I think I'm gonna do that with you, so everybody thinks I'm a good mom. Say Anytime I post a picture or video of Lua, oh, by the way, this is because she got surgery to get like spayed or neutered or whatever, and they shaved her for an IV. Why do you have to shave this much for an IV? She looks interessant. Anyways, anytime I post a picture of Lua, everybody says that she has human eyes, that she is a human soul trapped inside of her. So I've asked her a couple times, are you a human? Lua? Are you a human? 
And she never really gives me a straight answer, so I think it's true. Oh, there comes Henny. And it's a whole happy family. Good morning, honey. I feel like I've discovered such a major hack in life. And if there's nothing I've taught you so far, honestly, if you're an espresso person, I highly recommend getting the half-calf sleeve. Oh my God, I had my little issue with coffee. I feel like I had a little issue with my coffee consumption where I was having like two to three cups a day and that felt a little extreme. So I started buying half caffeinated coffee cups and I'll have like three of those a day, but it'll only add up to like a cup and a half. So am I a genius? Absolutely. Am I wise? For sure. Am I a pioneer? Yes. Anyways, let's go do 12, 3, 30. We're doing it every day this month, baby. Oh my God. I just watched that clip back on the camera to make sure that my mic was working. Why do I talk like this? I never realized that I was a mother dancer when I talk. Anyways, since I got the moves, I might as well become a famous TikToker or something since I'm already busting it in day-to-day -day conversations. Also, can you let me know if I should take this fan out? I never turn it on, so it's kind of pointless. Even when it's hot outside, I just put on the AC and I feel like it honks my videos. Like it's so honky. Like my eye goes straight there. Let me know. Okay, besties. All month of June, I'm gonna be doing 12, 3, 30 every single day, and I challenge you to join me. If you need some motivation, I'm about to pop off, so I hope you're left inspired after this little pep talk. Whatever every day means to you, go for it. If every day to you means five days a week, totally fine, and I want you to believe in yourself, and when you need a little bit of motivation, this is what I do, and it honestly helps me get it done every single time. I remind myself of how accomplished I feel afterwards, and sometimes 12 through 30 is honestly my only accomplishment of the day, and it'd be like that. But the second you get off that treadmill, baby, you did something for yourself that nobody can take away from you. You took the time out of your day, 30 minutes for yourself, Self-care, baby. So that's my speech. Let me know if you wanna join me and follow the 12330 community while you're at it. Let's go. Also, this 12330 challenge comes right in time for hot girl summer. I wanna be hot, not even physically. Like I wanna be hot mentally and I wanna be in the zone and in my flow and doing things every day that are gonna benefit me. So perfect timing for this challenge. I hope you join me. It's gonna be challenging, but it's gonna be worth it and you're gonna feel super accomplished at the end of it. Um, it's the fact that I found yesterday's eyelashes just sitting on my treadmill for me. Ew. Uh, I'm gonna watch YouTube videos to keep myself entertained. Honestly, this workout can get boring if you don't switch up the content that you watch. So I try to watch different YouTube videos every time I do it. Bye bye Today's 12 through 30 surprisingly kicked my butt, I was on the treadmill and I was just like, around minute 20, I was like, how is this not over? It feels like I've been on here for 45 minutes. Anyways, I did some online shopping, so let's do a spontaneous try haul. Wee! Exhibit A, this I got from Misguided. I like that it cheats the layered look because it's actually just one top, but it looks like two. So it's like double the payoff. Half the effort looks like I'm doing something that I'm not doing. I stepped out of my comfort zone a little bit because have you seen those streetwear pictures of the girls in the super baggy denim shorts like this? It is a look and it is a moment. It is definitely very cool girl. So I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off, but I went for it. <laughs> I don't know if I could take myself seriously in this, but I feel like, I feel like with the right styling, I can make this work. Let me know if you would do it with a chunky sneaker and make it daytime chill girl, or if you would dress it up with a heel and like a tiny little top and try to feminize it in those subtle ways. Also, this top is giving me massive country club vibes. Okay. Miss Gaida did a collab with Playboy, so there's like a bunch of, I'll just show you. It's a bunch of like this vibe, which is giving me very much country club. I did a similar look to this recently, and I like this vibe, so I'm trying to build upon this vibe because I feel like it's very like cutesy and perfect for the summer. I'm gonna link everything that I'm wearing in the description too if you wanna if you wanna cop it baby. Okay I got these two. I'm very tempted after seeing myself in this green crop top to get a matching pair of green dunks. Ugh honestly they're my guilty pleasure. I just keep buying dunks and I need to chill out. But like this with some dunks that'd be such a little streetwear moment. I digress. Okay, wow, I'm very obsessed with these trousers. These give me like, I'm classy, but I'm bougie ratchet. You know what I mean? Like these are just like the thinnest material and I feel like you could really dress up or dress down this look. And it's like cool girl meets business cash 
Oh, I feel like I could serve so many different personalities in these pants. Is that a toxic tree? Oops. And that concludes the try on haul. Thank you, Misguided, for sponsoring that portion of the video. I'm so used to spending money on you. So it's nice that you finally are spending money on me. Vamanos. Let's go do something else. Let's go do something with our lives. I'm trying to have fun. What can I do with my day? Mm. Sometimes I call Lua a clingy stalker because wherever I go, she's always at my side, but I think it's cute. Anyways, I'm gonna get very older sister advice vibes. I don't even care if you're older than me. I have some good older sister advice vibes. So, strap in, cause we're gonna really get into it. I'm about to go in, and I'm about to go off, and I'm about to tell you some truths that you maybe didn't wanna hear this morning, you didn't plan on hearing today, but maybe it was fate, here we are. Okay, so recently, I've been doing some work on myself, as I try to always do work on myself, and one of the realizations that I've had recently is that I'm very proud of myself now, and I'm super happy with my life now, but there are some points in my life that I look back on and I cringe, specifically like 17, 18, 19 years old when I look back at myself, when I see pictures of how I looked at that time, the clothes that I wore at that time, and just kind of like the life choices I was making at that time, I tend to look back and cringe. So, what am I trying to say here? Am I nervous? I think I'm nervous telling you this. Oh, I love getting um, vulnerable and emotional and deep. It kind of makes me uh, forget what I was gonna say. <laughs> so, I have been looking back on myself as the younger version of myself and cringing now what I'm working on is training myself to look back at these points in my life and give myself love and like literally mentally imagine myself giving my younger self a hug and giving my younger self guidance and believing in the younger version of myself and not cringing because if you look back at yourself and cringe, essentially what's gonna go down is whenever you have like a moment of doubt or a moment of insecurity, your mind is gonna kind of revert back to that place you were in when you didn't believe in yourself, when you were at the low point, etc. So let's say I'm feeling insecure in an outfit or something, or let's say I'm not feeling confident in a morning, it's gonna be easy for my mindset to go right back to my 17 year old days or my 18 year old days when I wasn't confident, I didn't believe in myself, etc. And that's how you get kind of like trapped mentally in your pain, in your hurt in your downs. So the way you gotta work through this, baby, is by giving love and tending to those versions of yourself that you may not be necessarily proud of and giving them love and giving them new life and giving them support. Even though it's in the past, these thoughts that you have can still come up every single day and cause you to be dowdy or insecure or less confident in your current life. So, uh, let me tell you how this all makes sense and why we're in the office right now. I'm about to get on a Zoom with a producer that I used to work with when I was like 17 or 18 years old, a music producer, and when I look back to that era of my life, I tend to look at my attempted music career as a failure and as an embarrassment, and I look back, I'm like, I'm so embarrassed that I did that, I'm so ashamed of myself, and it's like, now in this moment, I'm not those things, I'm so confident, I'm so happy, but I feel like in order to really master self-improvement, I have to dig a little bit deeper and go back to those wounds, if you wanna call it that. Yeah, I got some wounds, what's up? So I need to go back and revisit those places and kind of conquer them and give them love. And I was listening to Bella Porch's new song, Funny Enough, this same build a bitch, and I was like, this song, Slaps. Like I want to get in the studio and I want to make some fun music just for the fuck of it. I don't want to be a musician. I don't want to make money off of music. I'm not trying to fucking tour the world, but I want to do it to show myself that I did not fully give up on something because I think I failed at it. So here we are. That's my advice for the day. Um, I hope that excites you. I feel like I need a 12, 3:30 anthem. Honestly, that's kind of my goal. I want to make an anthem for people to do 12, 3, 30 on their TikToks too. Like I just feel like it could go so viral and be so fun and be such a little moment. So the producer that I'm gonna talk to right now, I literally worked with him when I was like 17 and 18 years old. He's the nicest Korean man and I can't wait to see him again and be like, oh my God, hi King. Are you ready to go back in the stew? So yeah, I guess look forward to some 
LG Beats, baby. LG Beats, what's the Hello, Francis. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. Can you see me? Yeah, it's so good to see you again. I remember back in the day, we would go all the way off. <laughs> okay, that was so much fun. I just love getting on a call. It's actually so cool to compare like how I was when I was younger and how I am now because I just got on the call and I was so specific with what I want. I want to do X, Y, Z. I want the vibe to be this. I want this. I want to meet in person here. My flexibility with my dates are here. Like I'm just so much more of a woman right now. I feel like when I used to go on these calls when I was like 17, I'd be like, um, like scared to say the wrong thing, scared to not sound like I knew what I was talking about. And here I am as a grown woman, baby, ready to make a mother banger. So yeah, I'm very much in the mood to have a hot girl summer moment. Tell me why I looked at the forecast for Arizona the next four months and it's a hundred, like over a hundred degrees every single day. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel like last year when I moved here during the summer, I was so excited about getting the house that I was distracted from it literally being an oven outside. And now that it's literally over 100 every day, I'm just like... Literally help me? So I don't know if I'm gonna do a lot of LA trips. I mean, I guess now with the music thing, I can make a reason to go over there to do that. Uh, let me show you how organized my bathing suits are. Do you peep this? I got these like wooden dividers and the bathing suits are just so beautifully arranged. This is some real adulting shit because I was the type of gal to have just like the bathing suits thrown in a drawer and then you have to like dig and it's a whole mess. But now, there's order, baby. I feel like she could be a cute moment. Maybe, I don't know. It's a very stringy bikini, I just got it. It has like a lot of things going on. Let's try her on and see if she is the moment. I thought this was gonna be a lot easier to understand, but this is complicado. Like, I guess I'm supposed to do one of these. And then, uh. Couldn't figure that bathing suit out to save my life, so we're going with this one. I kinda wanna take a cute Instagram. Like, now that I put it on, I'm like, oh wait, let me, let me strike a pose, bitch. Let me strike a pose. This is my go-to for Instagram readiness when it comes to doing bathing suit stuff. This Sol de Janeiro body spray, incredible. It has SPF 30 in it and the way it makes your body glow in a pic. And it has that like signature smell, you know, that they have in their bum bum cream. We're glowing, we're cute, we're ready. I think I might take a cover up. I have some cover up options from this guided. So I could do this one, which is like a terry cloth vibe. I could do this one, which is giving me a very resort, bougie. It has one sleeve. So this could absolutely be a moment, but I kind of want to save it for something a little bit more special occasion. And then we have this one that I think I'm gonna go with. That is so cute because it's like a pretty modest and conservative cut as turn because it's pretty long, but it's just so sheer that I feel like it's gonna be a whole moment. I'm gonna be linking all the misguided stuff in the description if you wanna get any of these for yourself. Oh, period. Ooh. Yeah, this is, this is hot girl shit. let's go. If you have nobody to take your Instagram pictures, this is what you need, girl, believe me. I think you searched like car mount but try to get this one, or I'll link it for you actually. Um, this is Major T, it sticks your iPhone right onto any glass, so I could put it on any one of these windows and take my own pictures, because I don't need anyone in this life. I'm my own best friend. Come on, Mama, you wanna play fetch? Wanna play fetch? Where's your ball? Yesterday I felt so bad, because we did like three rounds of fetch, and then I threw her ball in the pool and our game was cut short. Fetch. I'm not like regular moms. I'm a cool mom. Really thought these pictures were gonna come out good. 2 p.m. lighting does not do anyone any favors. Like, I don't know why I keep trying. 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m. Period. I don't make the rules. I'm so excited to get on this and there's bird shit. The fact that there probably was still some bird shit left on that is sending me. I was told by other Aussie Doodle parents that apparently their breed is supposed to love the pool, but Lua is like terrified of the water. We even had our friends come stay with us last week and they brought their golden doodle and their golden doodle was swimming in this pool and jumping in this pool and Lua was just like not participating, but it almost kind of feels like a blessing in disguise because it's so hot here that if she was jumping in the pool all day every day, I feel like 
we would just have a wet dog on our hands nonstop and she would like ruin things. So maybe this is a blessing in disguise, but I kind of want her to be an aquatic animal. You know what I mean? Lua, where's your ball? The Mexican food I just bought, hold up. There's this place and it's called Caliente here in Scottsdale. It is the most authentic Mexican food. It's family owned and they're just such a nice family and every time you go in, they give you hugs, they talk to you in Spanish. It's such a vibe. So I just got the steak plate and I added adobo on top. I feel like I've told you about adobo, but please do not sleep on that seasoning. It's like the best seasoning to ever be created. Also, I am so not loyal. I'm just so not loyal. When I lived in Miami, I was a Heat fan, and then I moved to LA and I became a Lakers fan because I lived in LA. And now that I moved to Phoenix, I'm a Phoenix Suns fan. I'm just like the least loyal person to any basketball team. I kind of just like go with where I'm at in the current moment. Also, the pastor for the Phoenix Suns is the pastor for the church we go to, so it's really cool. He's a really great pastor and he gives these like uplifting, motivational lectures. Um, so I'm kind of rooting for them tonight. It's the final game that they're gonna do against the Lakers. They literally creamed them in the last game. So hopefully they cream them again. Um, for all the Lakers fans, I'm sorry, I'm just literally not loyal. I think the reason for my disloyalty is because I was such a Miami Heat fan and then LeBron left and he went to the Lakers. So I'm like, you know what? If these players can jump around with who they play for, I can jump around with who I root for. Cause let's be real, what even is loyalty in terms of basketball, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, but it's the way that the Suns are fully beating the Lakers right now for me. I mean, first of all, the Lakers do have some wounded players, but not the Suns, completely destroying them on the second quarter already. Second quarter? Yes. Yeah, second quarter. <laughs> and he's laughing at me meanwhile he's wearing his Lakers shirt in the corner. Um, he's loyal, but as you know, I am not loyal. We shall see, baby.